This video is going to show you some different ways that you can think about subtracting integers because there's actually a few different lines of thinking. Let's start with looking at the virtual manipulatives for negative integers. So let's start with just a really basic problem. 5 take away 3. You can see that I have five positive chips on my board, and I want to take away three chips. So I'm simply going to remove those three chips, and I'm now left with two, two chips. And I know that those are positive chips. I had positive chips, I took away positive chips. There's another way that we can think about this. Many times, especially in other grades, we're taught to add the opposite. When we think about adding the opposite, we're literally saying, I still have five positive chips. I'm gonna now put on the board three negative chips. Now, I know that when I have a positive and a negative chip, I get a zero pair. So I can see that these three chips now explode with the other positive chips. And I'm still left with two positive chips. Now let's look at the problem, negative five take away a negative two. We're gonna do these the exact same way that we were doing when we had five positives. Instead though, I'm gonna put on my board five negatives, and then I'm going to take away two of those negatives. And I can see that when I take away two of those negatives, I'm left with three negatives. Now let's try to change this slightly and start with five positives, and we're still going to be taking away two negatives. Now, you might be looking at the board going, uh, wait a second, we've got a problem here. Where are the negatives that we're going to take away? Remember that you have zero pairs. You can add as many zero pairs as you want onto the problem because they are representing zero, right? We can add as many zeros as we want to something, and it doesn't change that number. So let's go ahead and add on a couple of zero pairs, and I'm even gonna put on a few more, just for fun here. And then I need to take away two negatives, so I'll go ahead and do that. And now what I wanna do is see how many zero pairs I can make with the chips remaining on the board. And I notice that when I'm all done, I'm still left with seven yellow chips, or positive seven. Let's try one last one. Negative five, take away two. Again, I'm gonna start with five negatives, and I need to take away two positives. I see that I don't have any positives to take away from my negatives. I don't have any yellows. Again, I can add some zero pairs. I'm gonna go ahead and tack on two zero pairs, and I now see that I can take away my two positives, or my two yellow chips, and I'm left with seven reds, or negative seven. I hope you found this video helpful on different ways to think about subtracting integers.